The first, I want really high participation here. The first function of a, of a lot of different tools is to hold things. Here is an example right here. The C clamp is shaped like a what? You can yell it out, it's a letter. C. C, write it. And then just sh show yourself how that is shaped. The C, the C clamp is shaped like a C. Track me when you're done. Andy's gonna read the next sentence, go ahead. So enthusiastic, yep. Um, tighter or looser? <laughs> tighter or looser, but depending on what you want. So how does this work? Tell your partner how, how you think this works. How does it make it tighter or looser? Go. You turn the thing and then it goes down and it's tighter than you want to put it back up. You can throw it the other way. So lefty Lucy, righty tighty. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you got it That's right, Luna. No. What do you mean? Oh, I got it right. Right. <laughs> What's? <laughs> oh, I got it right. <laughs> got it. Back to me in three, two, one, and zero. How does this structure, so how does what this looks like and is, is made like, how does that tell you what it does? How does this, when you see this, you could probably figure out what the function is. What about the structure tells you what the function is? Bridget, nice and loud. Um, you can twist it so that it gets tighter or Right. There's this little twist here that gets tighter or looser. Also, there's like, it almost looks like a screw. Like, you can screw it out, screw it in. Go ahead, write it. Right here, you're writing how the function, how does the structure tell you about the function? It's shaped like a C, so it can, it can hold a bunch of different width wood. Thank you. Okay. So this is for holding. All these kinds of clamp things are for holding. Go to the right. Let me just click the right button. Okay, lift. Here we go. Um, let's read this. Go ahead. The lever. Reeves. The lever is pushed or pulled to make the bed rise or fall. Perfect. This is a little lever right here. You can push on it or pull it. Why are these things, these like little metal... Flats? Why are they called beds, do you think? Why are these little metal things that there's, you can call um, the back of a truck a bed? Why are they called beds? Jared, Lav? They're flat. They're flat, yep, and you can place like whatever you need on them. Perfect. Okay, how does the structure of this tell you about the function? Jose? Because the platform kind of looks like something that you would put put something on. Yep. Perfect. So there's a huge, there's like a bed of the lift. And then there's another thing that you need to point out here, right here, that you pull or push. <clears throat> what about this tells you about the function? The lever. Chantel? You can um, put it down. Yeah, you can raise it or lift it however high you need to. Perfect. Where have you ever seen these? Or structures like this that do a similar function? Andy? Good. Mechanics are called car jacks. Yep. Go ahead. Great. The beds. Yep. Go ahead. Home Depot. 
Yep. <laughs> yep. Any other ideas of where you would see a lift tool? Go ahead. Construction sites, also window washers use them sometimes. All right, we get the point. Go to the right. Okay, here we go. Carry, um, we're gonna talk about this here. The belt moves around and around a metal piece with wheels. It's used to transport objects from one end to the other. Okay, um, give me, actually, let's watch the video. Just click on the globe right there. This is very quick. Make it big. So here are the wheels. It moves around, around, around. Let's get um, a brainstorm going. Tell me some places where you've seen tools that function this way. Chris. Grocery shopping, good. Yeah, go ahead, Josh. Yeah, like in an assembly line. Okay. An escalator. An escalator, perfect. You can hit escape and then go back to the the smart board. Yep. The airport. The airport, perfect. Um, what do you mean airport? There are two places. The security. So when you put your stuff down, the security clearance. There's a. There's two actually more places in an airport where they have. A tool like this. Daniela? Good, the luggage claim and something else. One other place. Rafi? Airplane, no, but from the luggage to get onto the airplane uses it. Reeves? I saw this only once, but a moving floor. Yeah, moving sidewalk. Is that what you're going to say? A moving sidewalk, perfect. Um, so the belts and wheels work together to move things from place A to place B. <coughs> Almost done. So you just want to write belts and wheels work together to move things. Last. Function of tools. Just hold up if you need. To. If you if you didn't catch up, then I will catch you up in just a second. Are things that fasten? Can someone read the first sentence for me, please? Elena, go ahead. The sharp end of the nail is through its mechanical materials. Great. Go ahead, Chalice. Good. It fits the shape of the screwdriver. A blunt end just means a flat end. So there are Phillips head, those are like star screwdrivers, and then there are flat headed screwdrivers. They fit certain types of nails. What does the structure of this nail tell you about the function? <coughs> us haven't been participating. Let's go. What is the structure, guys? It's very obvious to see. Go ahead, Shamari. Yep. Right here? Or here? Here you go. The little, um, like the screw part of it is textured and has a certain shape that helps it not like fall out quickly. Yes, Luna? Isn't it called a screw, not a nail? Yeah, this is a screw. Nails are also parts of fastenings. They're also fastening tools. Okay. Did you have something to add about this? Mm, no. no. Last question about this. Okay. The top, the shape, um, is the same as the the top of the driver. So the screwdriver. So you should definitely have these down in the right column of your sheet. Last part, you can fill this in on your own. Go to the bottom, a quick guide. You're gonna fill this out independently.
All right, you can shut it off. All right, let's go over this quickly. Things with sharp metal teeth, do they fasten, hold, carry, or lift? It's a lot.